Nuclear safety was our job. We didn't want to be the ones to accidentally start a nuclear war. This last remaining Minuteman 1, Minuteman Modernized Launch Control Center launcher in the world. The reason for placing them where they are is, um, first of all, they're far enough north where you don't have to build bigger boosters to get into targets in the southern most part of the Soviet Union. If we had a trade-off on missile on missile from both sides, uh, counter force strike, okay, we'd lose far less people than if we'd place the, the, the missile launchers in uh, near highly populated areas. I served there from 1971 to 1975 there at Delta and at the other launch control centers in the 44th Missile Wing. We were operators. Uh, it was a 24-hour tour. We'd, uh, another crew were, would relieve us the next morning. We did that eight times a month back in my day. It took two of the launch control centers with two officers in each to launch anyone up to all 50 of the missiles. So one crew couldn't go crazy and launch the missiles. Now there were some hairier times there where systems went awry, but in all cases, but regardless of the side, which side thought they were being attacked, cooler heads prevailed and they said, hey, this does not look logical. Let's wait five minutes and see what happens. In the START Treaty of 1991, both sides took their least modified missiles. Both sides were cheerfully gave up their missiles there. We went from about 65,000 nuclear weapons at the height of the Cold War down to less than 10,000. Now the launch control facilities and launch control centers, those other 14 here at the missile wing were sold back uh, to the farmers and ranchers. Visitors can expect to find a free park park. We have our visitor center at exit 131, our launch control facility, launch control center, <clears throat> at exit 127, just four miles down the road, and 15 miles heading toward Wall and Rapid City is our missile, Delta 9. We've got our museum, which is excellent, and we've also got uh, a, a great park movie that runs 28 minutes. Launch Control Center, that's the crown jewel of the whole park right there. In the summertime, you need to make your reservations 90 days in advance. The limitation there is the elevator size. Uh, it's only, it will hold six people plus the tour guide. And the launch control center is very, very small. It's, it's like a shipping container in size. We offer two tours in the afternoon during the winter season. During the summer, we offer four. Tours about 45 minutes. We take them through the launch control facility and the launch control center and describe the equipment and what it was like to live there and uh, what World War III would have uh, actually been like. You can experience the cell phone tours and all this information is also on our website. We get the virtual tours, except uh, there's no voiceover, so uh, you can poke around though in the launch control facility and launch control center and into the launch room too. You can go down into the two maintenance areas of the missile. You just don't know what you're looking at. This is a very unusual park. It's like no other national park you'll ever go to. Uh, friendly people and uh, some pretty wild history here. I, I highly recommend it.